Hi there, my name is Jay with Server Matter and CompuMatter. The purpose of this video is I've got a client with Windows and for reasons that I do not know, their app data temporary files is filling up on a daily basis. By the time a month has elapsed, her entire hard drive is filled up. And I've not been able to track what application this is coming from and quite frankly, that would probably amount to more billable time than would be reasonable for the customer to endure. At this point, you either just reinstall Windows and the problem disappears and then you reinstall all your applications and we all know that's a bunch of brain damage. Or we create a hack or, or bash script that will at least get rid of the temporary file buildup on a regular basis. And so this video shows you how to do that, but also digs into task scheduler and uh, PowerShell scripts on a little level, but keeping it on a simple level so people might be able to manage things like this uh, in their own world. So here we go. All right, so first let me show you an example of what we're running into. So you can see we have a couple of gigs left of 250 gigabytes. And I'm gonna introduce you to a program called Folder Size. Folder Size is a freely downloadable program and this is what it looks like and if we run that play button it'll build a picture of your entire hard drive and show you where the stuff lives. I'm going to click on that C drive so you can see it builds a pie chart down below. And we can see the user folder building up. It's counting off a lot of data there. I'm not going to make you watch this whole process because the bottom line is the real problem is going to be right here. And if we drill down, we'll see it in the temp folder. Look at that temp folder building up to 48, 50 gigs and so on. That's the, uh, the folder that has the problem and is storing all the data for this user. But anyway, great program worth looking into if you haven't used it before. So here is that folder represented in the File Explorer view, and here are all the temp folders that are creating the problem. Um, you can see most of these are dated 824. That's only in the last 24 hours. In fact, okay, some of them go back to the 10th and 15th and beyond, but a lot of them are just today. So we want to once a day, at least once a day, go in here and wipe these things out. Actually, I'm going to delete everything in this temp folder that is older than one day. That way anything they're currently using will not be affected by it. To do that, I've created this PowerShell script. You can see how that works here. We've identified the folder. We've identified uh, the one day delay in deleting. And then we loop through every file and folder and start removing anything that's a day old. And we're also gonna create a log file and the called delete old temp log so we can kind of see what's happening and that will appear in this same folder. So we'll minimize that for now. Next thing you know, next thing we're going to do is open the task scheduler, which you can click here, type in the words task. You'll notice task scheduler comes up. When you open it, it will look like this. You'll right click, you will create a new task, create task right there, and that'll bring up a window that looks like this. And here we identify what we want to do, which is to run that, that, that PowerShell script uh, at least once a day. And so we've got some things checked off. We want it to run with the highest privileges. We want it to run whether they're logged in or not. We want it to uh, run as administrator. And you can change that user or group right here. Uh, that way, whether she's logged in or not, it will run. We want it to run daily. If I edit that, you can see it can run uh, every two days, three days, or whatever. You can uh, run it one time, weekly, monthly, and so on. A lot of things you can do there. Be careful to check this enabled box. I have made that mistake doing this whole thing, forgetting to check the enabled box, and the darn thing never ran. So um, let's see. Repeat, e delay task, repeat every task. Okay, so here you can tell it to run X hours, which I think I'm, eh, I'm not going to bother with that. Once a day is enough. Um, but you could run it every hour within that period of time and so on. So we're good there. I'm going to OK that. Uh, what's it going to do? That's the action. We're going to run the program. And that program in this case is going to be a PowerShell program. 
And the argument is going to be file and the actual file we're trying to run. That's what that looks like. And uh, conditions, we don't care if it's on, this is a desktop, so it's always going to be on AC power. We're going to wake up the computer if it needs to be to run the task. And uh, settings, you can take a look at that. Where it's never going to run longer than three days, but if it were to, we'll stop it. It should run with, it should take five minutes, if that, for this task to run. Probably, probably a minute. And, and a history area, which will tell you what has happened thus far. And so far, it just shows a few of the edits that we've made to this task. Okay, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, I don't think I made any changes, but, but if you do make changes, it's gonna want the password for the user that is in fact running this task. So let's go ahead and run this task right now. Okay, so that task is running. You'll notice the delete old temp log is building. Let's take a look at that. It does in fact show the different files and folders that it is deleting, so that definitely does appear to be working. We'll minimize that, and we can see the folders in real time disappearing from here. So that task should run on a daily basis, keep this temp file trimmed, and uh, this customer will no longer have to reckon with a full hard drive once a month due to this temp file and folder area building up. Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, it would be nice to track down exactly what was causing that, um, but sometimes the cure is worse than the disease, and it's easier just to write something like this that will take care of the problem. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you would like to have a front row seat on any of the videos this channel produces, be sure to click uh, be sure to click the subscribe button. Easy for me to say. Bye-bye.